friends uh, this is the video and guidelines about how to install and test IBM SPSS software for uh, a trial version of IBM SPSS software so that uh, we can practice and we can learn SPSS now IBM SPSS to be searched in Google IBM SPSS only okay don't go for these free download and this and that go to the authentic IBM website first link is sponsored so IBM is advertising its own other software and all don't go on sponsored links just try to find this link IBM SPSS software okay so this is the relevant link I have clicked on it and you see IBM SPSS software so this is what is the software and all we have to uh, download it and install it so here it is written try SPSS statistics for free click on this now this will ask for some information like <clears throat> you have to fill in this information then you can download and enjoy the trial version okay so this is business email so I am filling in this info any password you can give this is saying it should be 12 characters so one uppercase okay okay so the password is now fit first name is right country code then we have my phone number then this is the company name it has by default it has taken the company name full-time student business government academic institution employee whatever is your role if you are a student right student if you are whatever is so tell the optional so I am leaving it blank and uh, next so they have sent a verification code now I will see the verification code so here you will receive an email on your email ID the email ID you have given so I have checked on my email ID the verification code is there and this is the verification code I have copied I would like IBM to use my contact details to keep informed this is for marketing purpose and all so if I uncheck this let's try yes so you can uncheck that also if you don't want uh, their marketing messages and all <coughs> so the account is being uh, prepared I don't want to remember the password product and product and solutions go to product and solutions SPSS statistics okay so try it free see pricing and try it free and this is your login my IBM and all so try it free see the pricing option I said try it free but by default it is taking to pricing option so go to the right side here and go up because they first want to show you the price but we are not interested in price try it free you have to ensure that you are logging you have logged in in this profile my IBM and then you go to product and solutions again SPSS statistics try it free <coughs> continue it is signing up for the IBM and all so whenever you <coughs> so whenever you finalize it you will get an email like this now this has already see this is logging okay and if you see this blank black window nothing else on this window it means that you have already received an email for the trial version okay trial version has already started it is for 30 days and 30 days is good enough time to to enjoy the trial version so I go to my email and uh, see this type of email you will receive your IBM SPSS statistics subscription starts now trial starts now and this trial is for 30 days free trial which is amazing I think because you have all the features of this trial version okay so now this is download trial this is an important step how you download it download this is active and it will expire on 8th of uh, June 
2025 so i download it <coughs> and download for windows 64 bit and download for mac os so you should download it for uh, if you have a an apple laptop you download it for this and these are the other related downloads statistics data file drivers and also if it does not work you can go for these packs but download for windows 64 bit so the download is in progress you can see here so it has been downloaded this downloads folder we can simply double click on this so it is asking do you want to allow this app to make changes in your device yes we want to allow this app to make changes now this is taking some bit of time in process this is the process is going on in the in the background the process is going on so it will pop up once it, it is trying to find the space and trying to find to set up itself so this has come now after double you do double click just wait for a few seconds depending on the speed of your system it may take like even two three minutes also so have patience preparing to install preparing to install now installing ibm spss status 6 this is version 28 28.x or uh, it will overwrite any existing substantial installation of this version or later or later version so no problem don't worry if you have any authorized software with key which is version 28.x or later so please do not install if you have authorized version or any other version otherwise you can simply click next accept the terms and conditions okay click next next and install so it will take around 10 to 15 minutes in total depending on your system speed and uh, internet speed so the status is blank right now will take some time so now you see that uh, the installation has been completed start ibm spss statistics now you can start it also you can uncheck it also that's not a problem finish so when you click the finish button your ibm spss trial version is now ready you can work so i will quickly test a file so that you are sure that your software is ready for use Initially, it is taking some time. I will also show you that uh, how to open the software in your system. So here I can. Now this is saying activate login with IBM ID, activate your subscription or trial. So you just activate login with your ID and that password that we have taken. Now we can simply close this because we have already installed the you want to cancel the installation i think we by chance double clicked on this and finish so now uh, where to find it just go to this uh, search window type spss now this is an older version of in my laptop so don't go for this ibm spss statistics statistics 20.msi and all so ibm spss statistics this one click on this now login with IBM ID so IBM ID is the email ID that you have already used continue password uh, login it is verifying the password the same email id and password with which you prepared the account so multi-factor authentication enrollment i don't want to do probably 
so choose a verification method to multi factor authentication ibm security authenticator app email one time access code sent to your email you can go for this so email is the same send code here is the code you will receive on your email id so verify so now everything is done okay enrollment is successful now we can use the software so do you want to allow public or private network to access this app so you can allow it so you can have the like uh, on shared wi-fi or anywhere you are using it so you can allow it okay now simply if you this will open now this has opened this is the new version of it you can simply say new data set okay <coughs> open so this is the file that will open so this is a test file i am closing it for now and uh, let me show you how to open it afresh SPSS this one this uh, Sigma summation sign click on this let it take its own time this is saying full version trial 30 days left click on new data set if you want to click otherwise it is automatically opened also just a minute. this at the bottom you can see this is open help us to improve you can simply skip this now you see this is variable i will explain it uh, later in my other videos but you see in bottom it is written 30 days left on full version trial upgrade here and here you can see this variable view and data view so in data view just feed some numbers just to test this file i am feeding like 30 40 automatically it will give you the scale and all 2 5 10 20 25 okay and now go to analyze in analyze you say descriptive statistics frequency put it here and okay and just see the output is coming so if it is happening then it means the software trial version has been installed successfully okay so i don't want to save the output but control s i want to save the file by default it takes documents but you can save it on say desktop test trial this is just my name you can take any name and save the file and close it in closing it will ask whether you want to save yes i want to save the data editor now i go to desktop and i can retrieve this file also on the from the desktop if i open this file will open so i go to desktop and say on desktop i'm sorry this is too messy but uh, i can simply find test trial so if i click on test trial so you see just have some patience let the file open this file is open in the background you can simply cross this dialog box your file is open from the bottom okay so don't worry about it so this file is ready thank you so much